Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. The good news is I made it back from Louisiana safely and sound. Uh, we've got everybody moved in down there. Everything's good down there. The bad news is uh, I know I hyped it. I didn't get a lot of video, if any video. I've got some pictures I'm going to share later. But uh, again, the whole trip was a bust. Uh, our youngest son and his family has been stationed in Germany for the last three and a half years in the Army. And they were originally supposed to be back in May, which meant they could have spent a couple weeks with us this summer, and then gone out to the in-laws and spent some time with them, and then gone to their new post at Fort Polk, Louisiana. But because of COVID, that got moved back to June. Then it got moved back to September 8th. So finally, they're coming home September 8th, but now they can't take any leave because they have to get the kids in school in Fort Polk and they have to, you know, just messed up everything. So then they were supposed to be in at five o'clock on the 8th that afternoon. Well, then it got moved to eight o'clock. Then it got moved to midnight. We get to the airport at about 11.55, waiting for them to come through the doors and uh, greet them and love them and hug on them. And... Then it got moved back to 2.30 in the morning. So by 2.30 in the morning, uh, we were kind of give out. We waited for them. They got there safely, soundly, a little jet lagged, a lot jet lagged, especially the kids. Uh, and we went to the motel and spent the night there with them and had a good time. Uh, then we got up the next morning and they uh, their flight left around 11 o'clock going to Dallas, then to Alexandria, Louisiana. And so we got them to the airport, left, and I, my son and I, oldest son, drove back to Clarksburg. And we, then I got my youngest son's pickup and drove, left about four o'clock that afternoon, drove all night to Fort Polk, Louisiana. And then I was driving mainly at night, so there was nothing to film. And then I got to Fort Polk and, you know, they really don't like you filming military installations. So I didn't get to film anything on Fort Polk. And plus I was dead tired. And I think this picture that I'm about to show you will explain just how tired everybody was. This was in the motel room at Fort Polk and it's me and little June bug. Uh, we just gave out and fell asleep. And here it is. So as you can see, everybody was tired. Uh, we got everything done. We got them moved in. Uh, their house was available. I think it'll be Monday they can move into their house, but we got them back. We're happy they're on American soil again, uh, a little closer than Germany. So uh, we'll get to see them and love on them a lot more. Everything went good. The trip was a great deal. I promise next weekend I am going out on the road. I'm going to hit some dirt roads. I'm going to get some good footage, some good filming, and I'm going to camp somewhere and I'm going to give you a good review of it. But since then, I kind of feel like I let you down. We're going to talk about my favorite things next to bikes and my kids, scotch and cigars. And I tell you guys and girls, whoever's watching, I have found a new scotch that is heavenly. It is Glen Fittage. It's fire and cane. It's a limited run they're doing. It's a trial run, but it's a single malt scotch and it's cured in a cask that they use to make rum in. So again, it's got the scotch taste, which is very good, but it's got kind of a spicy tone to it like a rum would. And I'm telling you, I've tried a lot of scotches. And I've tried a lot of scotches. I'm not steering you wrong here. This stuff is probably some of the best stuff I had. It's not that awful expensive either. Uh, it's really good. And again, most of the liquor stores have it. I don't know how long they're going to have it. I got this at Rocco's in Bridgeport. Uh, 
but it's a really, really good uh, scotch. Again, it's a single malt scotch whiskey. It's an experimental series number 04 Glen Fittage Fire and Cane. You know, I don't know if you can read that. But again, it's a single malt Fire and Cane. It's an experimental. Try it. Again, I'm smoking again another uh, Isle de Sol. Uh, cigar, they're my go-to. They're very good. It's a coffee-infused cigar. Tastes really good. Uh, really enjoy them. They go great with this scotch. It's one of the best matches I've had. Impress you with some smoke rings there since I didn't get any bike footage. Again, it's been a really long week and again the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry that's my new logo and my new saying uh i really plan to do some writing this weekend but again family takes priority guys with me and i'm sure it does with you so when we finally got him back to america we had to go meet him at the airport even though it was a long drive we had to get a uh, their truck down there because their car that they're shipping back from Germany and all their furniture, we don't know when it's going to be there. So they needed a ride. You know, they've got the kids. They need to get to the store. They need to get to school. They need to do all those things. So it was very important to get that taken care of. And that's why, again, I'm very sorry there's no footage this week. But there'll be some footage next week. And uh, I know everybody's worried about the piglet. And Piglet's doing very good. So right now, there's the Piglet. She missed her daddy. She was such a good girl. She was so happy. Piggy. Pig, pig. Pig. Look up. Let them know you're alive. Come on. Well, Pig's sleepy. She's just been for a walk. And uh, she's been a good girl today. And she was so happy to see me. Uh, she didn't get off me for uh, three, four hours. She just sat in my lap. And that's a lot of dog to have sitting in your lap uh but she was happy to see me my wife you know not so much she was glad i made it back safely but uh you know after 30 some after 30 some years of marriage you know she's not as excited for me to get home as the dog is so uh anyway again guys i'm sorry there's no bike video Promise next week I'm going to get out rain or shine if I have to sleep in the tent in the rain. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, again, thanks for checking out the channel. Look, there's Piglet. She got up on the chair in the background. Uh, there she is. Pig. Pig. There you go. Say hi, Pig. Uh, again, like all YouTubers, I'm supposed to tell you to like, subscribe. I'm going to get better at editing too and hopefully uh, put the like and subscribe and all that in the video somewhere. I know I can do that. I'm just not sure how yet. I'm working on editing. I got a new computer so I can edit video a little better. You know, hopefully the filming's going to get better. And again, guys, send me some suggestions. Make a comment on where you'd like me to ride. Uh, a lot of guys have talked about the Canaan Loop. I want to do that. Uh, I want to go down to Greenbrier County. I've got a lot of history down there. My family and uh, there's a lot to see down there. Go to the Greenbrier Valley Brewery and the old Greenbrier Military Academy, the old girls college, go to the Greenbrier Resort. A lot to see and a lot to do. So again, give me ideas and suggestions of things that you'd like to see, places you'd like me to go and film. Again, I'm going to get a lot more dirt going uh back roads more so uh things are starting to slow down now everybody's back everybody's safe everybody's healthy so we can uh focus on other things again hey thanks for watching uh thanks for viewing again like subscribe do all those things and uh we'll talk to you later thank you very much bye